Have you ever failed to find a pun? Every pony needs time to find themselves. <laughs> Most ponies go on a journey at some point to find their real identity. You kidding, Mark, determines a lot about how you grow up. But you aren't really an adult until you come to terms with how who you are is reflected in your cutie mark. You flip tables like this? Oh. What? Oh, I see. So you're the one breaking all the tables. When I get my hooves on you. My friend Sandy doesn't quite appreciate all the table flipping. Some pony has to repair those, and that some pony is usually her. You can see more of her carpentry adventures at Ask Sandy Pony. Well, if you think about it, I mean, she's probably making some bits off that, so continue flipping the, t the tables. Pop. You should see Dr. X-Ray about those cracking joints. Uh, that's Kala Mary, a friend of Dr. X-Ray, who was magically bonded with a squid at a young age. Some ponies are freaked out by her tentacles. I think they're cute. They make a different sound from Satino's face tentacle. You can see more of Kala Mary at my, in my boyfriend, Dr. X-Ray, over to ask creepy ponies. Look at other anime fans. I don't see what the big deal is about hentai. I almost screwed out of the joke. Chicken, I mean, I mean chicken. Out. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> when I look up at the sky at night, uh, when I look up at the night sky, I see the wondrous possibility of worlds beyond worlds beyond our reach in an infinite cosmos. What do you see, Rainbow Dash? No need to be sarcastic. I'll fix the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Ponies like Sandy get plenty of work in town with the resident Pegasi population. Certain ones in particular have accounts to fix the damage they cause. Though that certain pony has her bill covered under Royal Asset Protection Expenses. Hey, Rolo, how did you, uh, how do you get a fresh college graduate off your porch? I don't yeah. like where this is going. Hey, I'm for pizza pizza. Which is really funny because you just not have pizza yet. <laughs> Rulu's a f- No, I didn't pay for the pizza, no! I ordered the pizza! Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm getting distracted. I don't know if you said that or she said that. Hold on. Rulu is a bit fun to tease about her prospects after college, as her talent seems a bit esoteric. Still, I've got just a black line for a cutie mark, and I make a rather nice living. You can check out more of the college party animal at Ask Rock and Rulo. Huh? Oh no, I didn't. I'm in the middle of the thing. <laughs> Sorry. Which is really funny because you... the question was about pizza. Do you practice martial arts? A little bit here and there. I have to be careful when I practice martial arts. The night guard techniques tend to focus on dealing damage rather than merely incapacitating. Hi, Velvet. Hi, Velvet. I was making bread that tastes like pickles, so I saved one for you. Gee. Thanks. Why? It's made from dill dough. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a present to Velvet, who runs a rather <clears throat> saucy boutique in town called The Crop. It's a sort of boutique that ponies don't publicly talk about, though it does rather brisk business. You should check out Velvet and her adventures in erotic sales at Ask Velvet. Let's try the 
train as far as it will go start a new life there. Sounds like a plan. I think that's a dude, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. We're going so fast. We're sure to find adventure at this speed. Uh huh. Next stop, Catalot! Right. <laughs> Last stop, every pony off. Last year? Awesome, let's go see our new home. Okay. Ponyville, but how? Why? Ponyville Canterlot Express. You knew, didn't you? Maybe. Rubik is a, such a smart cult. He's got a plan for just about any situation his girlfriend Melanie can create. Damn it! Anyways. Oh. With the invigorating iron and hydrogen monoxide, my jokes will conquer Equestria. Uh, that's water. But I feel healthier and more alert when I drink it. It's just water. Die, Hydro. Hydrogen H2 monoxide. Oh, H2O is water! So, just by drinking more water, my mental abilities will increase? Well, since most ponies are a bit dehydrated, yes. Every pony drink, drink more, more water. water! Oh, that's cute. Some think that it's just Pinkie Pie or Scootaloo that has a dozen versions of her floating around the Tumblrverse. With so many convergent and divergent realities, you can find some rather interesting ponies. For example, this Fluttershy plans to take over the world with mad science. You should check her out over at Dr. Adorable's Ask Along blog. You are a I hear a kitty. Yes. <coughs> this is PETA, the pain in the ass. <laughs> Aww. She is an edible, but we don't want to cook her. We still love her too much, even though she's a pig. Yes, Peter. I would say they've got quite a cult following. Apparently, I have a cult following. Oh, let me know when I've got a stallion following. Oh. Sorry, she fools. I appreciate the attention, but uh. But a certain stallion has already caught my eye. Thing at the bottom, I'm fine. You want to be side characters? There are plenty of females. Sure, I mean males too. You heard my. Oh yeah. I you know. should have heard me singing Captain Hammer's part earlier. I can, I can do a decent baritone. <laughs> All right. You want to read Dear this? Pun. Your puns sometimes hurt so much, I want to punch you in clothes as you build for a new computer monitor. Uh, thanks. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I've received thanks. some odd presents from Tumblr. My pet here, random foods, and now a pill for my monitor. It looks cute, but it makes it a bit difficult to work. Tumblrbot told me to follow you. Tumblr Is that okay with you? you? Okay with you. Hold on. Hold on, stop. Thank you, Tumblrbot! No, I'm her. She's blue. I'm No, <laughs> no I know. I'm here. He's Robo Scootaloo. I came in way Thank different. you, Tumblrbot! I'm the Tumblrbot. There's so many fun versions of everybody floating around throughout the Tumblrverse, and some are quite fun to hang out with. This one is a robotic version of Scootaloo. That pony has a rather crazy number of versions of herself. Go check out her more than binary adventures at Ask Scootabot. If you went into the future and told yourself one thing, that would happen. You can tell it in any way you want, even just showing you physically. How would you do it? Would you screw around with your past self or no? The doctor says I'm not allowed to in the TARDIS after the incident. Ever trouble to down? Hey, isn't that... Just some uh, earth pony who wishes he was me. The only time travel you're doing is forward. 
in real time. So the doctor's rather protective of his time machine or time ship. Seems like he's going to correct you on what it is, no matter how you refer to it. Still, he's good for a laugh when he's not sulking or being angry. Check him out over at Ask Discord Doctor Hooves. You are such a cute. Without geometry, life is pointless. I get the feeling some of my followers are going to be obtuse and send a lot of geometry puns. <laughs> Do you like flowers? Unicorns and pegasi think that every earth pony knows how to make plants grow. Unfortunately for my garden, that stereotype isn't quite accurate. Aww. As Marigold once said, I am so bad at gardening, I could kill a rock garden. You wanna be Fluttershy? <laughs> Welcome to my lair. Can, can I get you anything to drink? I'll have some H2O, please. I'll have some H2O, too. I see where this is going. Wait, what is this? Hydrogen. Outside. I thought I asked for water. Oh, I, I thought you said H2O2. <laughs> I teamed up with Pinkie Pie Solutions to go pay Dr. Adorable a visit. It's fun to visit alternate versions of various ponies. Meeting a version of yourself tends to be a bit unnerving, but eye-opening as to how your life could have been. See more of these two science ponies at Ask Pinkie Pie Solutions and Dr. Adorable's Ask Along blog. We need to. Things. We need to. And it's really funny because of that picture I drew. Oh, I just lost the game. <laughs> Anybody else here playing the game? We lost. Yeah. Screw the rules. I'm not playing the game. <laughs> Hi, Lyra. You know those things are rigged, right? Lyra's not here right now. There's only the claw. Yes, I'll get you next time. Got it. I missed you guys. <laughs> I should do this more often, you but I don't have like my own personal space, so I end up looking weird in front of my whole family. And it's like, you need to come over. What the hell often. is that nerd talking about? You need to come over tomorrow. I do. I do. I really do. Okay. Lyra has a sudden obsession with holding things. I think she needs to get a grip. You should go see her adventures over at Ask Lyra and Bon Bon. <laughs> Stores don't sell books. Just paper, ink, and thread. The only book you truly own are the ones that you have to read. Are the, are the ones you have read. There we go. You may own the physical form of a book, but it's the spirit of the book that freely gifts you with the knowledge within its pages. Well, at least you're not Grimdark. That would be disturbing. Dark? I'm Grimdark. Aren't I dark and edgy? Of course, I'm not one to just wallowing in the darkness, no matter how much there is. The best stories involve the journey into or out of darkness. The darkness itself, quite a boring place. Hey, Pinky, it's your day on the calendar. Is that my birthday? Why is today my day? 3.14. Hi, day. Hooray! <laughs> Happy Pie Day, every pony! If you're on the mood for some pie, check out Ask Pinkie Pie. Hey, Doctor Ray, what are you up to? Hi, Pun. I'm supposed to meet the Royal Toponymist here for some business in Cantalot. Fantastic. What is a toponymist anyway? It's a pony. It's a pony. It's a pony. 
beverages place names like Salusa combining the ethnicity of the Spanish settlers with the flavors of coffee at half the region. You're the royal toponymist, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> make you cute, Cal. So the topic of what I did professional hadn't come up in our relationship, so I set up a little bit of a prank on my boyfriend. One little bribe to the nurse, and I had him all afternoon to myself. To see more of my hunky stallion, check out Ask Creepy Ponies. Or Ghost Jack Dragon back down. That's the, uh, that's the other stream. Oh, sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> Without any fat puns. What would you look like if you were fat? I am fat. Pretty hot and tempting. With a sense of our cutie mark. Ooh. What can I say? I got my good looks from my mother. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Rainbow Dash. You want me to do it? <laughs> Live stallions are looking at my table of snickering today. They're looking for the potted gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh my. <laughs> I hope every pony has a safe St. Patrick's Day. I'm honestly not sure what it's about, but I'm not going to question half price drink half price drinks. <laughs> Very fun to watch. How sharp are you? Will this sharpness be reflected in the puns you make, or shall I turn you up a bit? Sharp, I imagine, in all the right places. Oh my! There's nothing wrong with taking pride in your appearance, especially if you're as beautiful as I am. <laughs> What's your major, Rolo? I'm an equinology major. What did you study in college? I thought that was a dude. It's not. I read the description it's afterwards. It's a girl. It's all about how they feel on the inside. <laughs> I studied psychology. Reverse psychology. I'm they cancel each other out. I like to visit Rulo from time to time. She reminds me what a wild and crazy pony I was in college. It reminds me that I'm not an old nag just yet. You can check her collegiate adventures over at Ask Rock and Rulo. As a radiologist, do you do a lot of pro bono work? Yes, I do quite a bit of community service. No, what I meant. Oh, you got me. <laughs> what can I say? My sense of humor is contagious. Or infectious, uh, or a plague. Depending on who you ask, you can see more of my boyfriend over at Ask Creepy Ponies. Tune in tomorrow for my origin story. It's full of drama, adventure, and a very painful memory. Not yet. <laughs> uh, the next one. It's where the bad dragon comes in. I'll be censored, though. I finished my education and went to... I finished my education and to show business. I could fill a theater with my comedy routine. And I had just skipped during, so I can show... Uh, so I do a regular show. <coughs> My best friend ever shined and I got decided to go on a road trip. On the biggest trip before we started our professional life. We roamed from town to town, two bears having fun without a care in the world. We weren't hurting for a bit, and we could go anywhere we wanted for the next two months. <laughs> and the incident that Griffin was on uh, was there to rob the place wasn't satisfied with the bits from the register. When the owner refused to turn over the golden horseshoe, that was the horse uh, store symbol. <laughs> Myths and legends give a joke so funny, those who hear it die laughing. 
Somehow, the script that did speak any word of the Pony language had it written that it was in and he used it. You've all been following me for so long, and a lot of you inquired about how I came to be the seal on the killer joke. For the next week, I'm going to show you what happened between getting my cutie mark and when you first got to meet me in Ponyville. Maybe it was my talent with language or seeing everyone dying in front of me, but I survived. I heard every word of it, and I survived. Well, the night card arrived to explain the situation. It was too late. Was the only one so far who heard the joke and survived. So they offered me an opportunity. I joined the night guard, and they made me the secret keeper of the joke. With that seal in place, no being but I could keep the joke properly. <clears throat> the next time that foul beast tried the joke, it failed. And he was captured. He was interrogated by the best. But either he wouldn't or couldn't reveal where he got the joke, or what he was doing with the wealth. He, he was tried, sentenced, and executed for his crime. I was watched. I didn't flinch. This is a rather painful well, memory for dark. me. Right? Those of you who have been following my adventures for a while will recognize that seal. With all that happened, I couldn't continue to be a professional comedian. The sound of laughter was now associated with a terrible memory. I just didn't have it in me to keep going with the show, with my show. Unfortunately, I was still known as a comedian, and the events around the killer joke are highly classified. That man ponies walking up and telling me to say something funny usually ended up with a hoof muzzle. I had to be can't relax. I'm some that my lingering thing couldn't wouldn't follow me, not follow where I could serve her. On a certain recommendation, I decided to move to Ponyville. My cousin Marigold found me a job in her gardening business, but I have no talent to time. I think that last employee evaluation said, this pony could kill a rock garden. I did a small job here and there for a living, and took one from the mayor to clean out the Ponyville library so it could be sold later. The library had passed away a few years prior. It wasn't an easy choice to leave Cantalot. Though I was an earth pony in a primarily unicorn city, I was well acquainted with its customs and traditions. A rural place like Ponyville would be much harder to adapt to than, say, Manhattan or Trottingham, but also less likely that I'd be recognized. <laughs> 